girls, children of all ages. Welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. Global Syndicate Wrestling, GSW Catalyst Review. Um, GSW Catalyst was on Fight TV. It was on 522. Um, it ended the same way as Halloween Havoc 1998. And so that's why it took me a little bit longer to do the review. And for those of you who don't understand what I'm talking about, um, the show ended... The feed on fight ended before the show was over, um, so we didn't get to see the main event. Um, they did some editing and re-uploaded the fight with the main event, the game changer, uh, the game changer, <laughs> the Global Syndicate Wrestling Championship on the line. So we're gonna run down the whole card. Overall, it's a good show. We had the return to pro wrestling of Davy Richards, the American Wolf. I love it. Overall, this card was good. I averaged three star rating for the whole card, so the show's averaged a 3.0 rating out of five, which is great. Um, best match was three and a half, had two of those. Um, so the pre show match, we had a simple little match. We had Trax versus Smiley. Uh, nothing really special happened here. Smiley got the victory, two and three quarter star. To be truthful and honest, first time I've seen either one of these. Then we had four women's matches. We had the round one of the GSW Women's Tournament. The two. Crown the first ever GSW Women's Champion. First match, we had Hyen versus Allison K, AK-47. Formerly of Impact Wrestling, as, as Cena has um, seen... Uh, what was her name? Cena, Cena, whoever it was, S-I-E-N-N-A. Um, she's been in uh, NWA, she's been all over the Indies. She's part of the uh, Cruiserweight Classic. I like Cruiserweight Classic, sorry, the Mayhem Classic. Can't talk today. High end, she's just kind of been one of those uh, independent wrestlers kind of going here and there. Um, this match was really good. It was a 19 minute match. A lot of mat based wrestling. So you kind of knew it was going to give it a little bit of time. Um, then AK 47, Allison K getting a victory by submission. I give it three and a half. It was one of the best matches on the card. Next up, we have the GSW Dream Openweight Championship in a fatal four way. We had Sean Donovan versus Mason Maddox versus Wrecking Ball. Of Leguinsky, Wrecking Ball Le Le Leguinsky reminds me of a modern day Bam Bam Bigelow. Size, the way he dresses, it is kind of that. I see a lot of a young B Bigelow there. And then Richard Holiday, who, if you've never seen the Air, Air um, <clears throat> can't talk today, God yeah. AirPod guy, Richard Holiday. Um, anytime you get to talk to him, you got to talk to his lawyer slash father. Um, who, who represents him. Um, unfortunately, it was a 10-minute fatal four-way match. Didn't give him a lot of time. Working ball, Lovinsky getting the victory there. Um, becoming Dream Openweight Champion. I give the match three-star. Um, we go back to the women's tournament. We had Vicious Vita versus Holodead. Vix, Vicious Vita getting the victory. 10 minutes, short match, two and three-quarter star. Um, next up, we had a tag match. We had Austin Aries, a double for Teaming up with Ricky Reyes versus Gio Galvani in Super Nitro. Um, this is a pretty good little match. 18 minutes. Austin Aries kind of ran the match. Him and Ricky Reyes, kind of the veterans of the ma match. On um, that team getting the victory in three and a quarter star match. Then we had the return to pro wrestling of Davey Richards comes out. Cuts a promo. He's back. Um, I did a little bit of research. I guess he had a knee replacement. And back in 2017, that's why he left. Um, here he is back. He said that we definitely will get a match from him August 20, 21st at Global Festival for GSW. He threw out some names of some of the kind of the GSW mainstays. GSW is a new company. Um, there are certain few wrestlers that have been on all their kind of uh, shows. On If you go on YouTube, they've had like five little shows, what do they call High Voltage, um, and they had a couple before that as well, little hour shows on YouTube. At the very end, he said, and it could be Eddie Edwards, so we'll see, we'll hope it's Eddie Edwards, Wolf vs. Wolf would be bad fucking ass. Uh, but yeah, David Richard looked good, looks like he can still go. Um, cannot wait to see what he brings to GSW and on professional wrestling in general. Love to see him go back to Impact and team up with Eddie Edwards. Uh, or even feud him and Eddie. I'm, I'm fine with that too. Fuck. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be great. Uh, next up, we had a return to the women's tournament. We had Jordan Blade 
versus Diana Peraza, the Virtuosis, the current Impact Women's Champion. This match was nine minutes long. Diana Peraza getting the victory by submission. I gave it two and three quarter star. One of the matches that I wanted to see here, the reason I bought this show was supposed to be Jacob Fatu, cousin of the Usos, versus Michael Elgin. The unbreakable Michael Elgin. Unfortunately, due to injury, Michael Elgin cannot be here. We had Matt Cross come out and take his place. We had Jacob Fatu versus Matt Cross. Eh, 10 minute match. Um, both guys kind of got their main moves in. Fatu did his moonsault and everything. Three star match. Fatu getting the victory. Jacob Fatu, currently the MLW World Heavyweight Champion. Um, look for big things from him. He is part of the Fatu family with Usos. He is the cousin to the Usos. Um, so yeah, he's part of that whole family of Roman Reigns and everything. So don't worry, he ain't showed up in WWE anytime soon. He got a five year contract. Hopefully he doesn't screw over MLW. I, I could see him eventually getting there, but not anytime soon. Um, but him getting the victory there. Next up, we have the final of the, four, the final four match for the first round of the women's tournament. We had Kimberly. Versus Trish Adora. Great little match. 14 minutes long. A lot of mat wrestling. I like a lot of this because mostly, see here, this match, Adora won by submission. Um, I give it three and a half. Um, Allison K won by submission. Um, Deanna Praza won by submission. So yeah, having the women start winning matches by submission, I love how we're getting to that point. These women can do submission. They can do mat wrestling. They can do the aerial stuff. They're just so versed in what they can do now. Um, with that, it's um, you know it's amazing that we have such great talent, especially on the Indies right now. Uh, but Trisha Dorgan in a victory. So we have Yana Praza versus Trisha Dora, then Allison Kay versus Vicious Vita. That will be at Global Festival night one, I believe. The main event, I believe, and not either one I went into too, I'm not sure they did say the main event would be for the GSW Women's Championship. Then our main event. The match took a few days to watch. We had the GSW World Champion Alexander Hammerstone versus the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson. This was not going to be your typical map-based wrestling match at all. This is going to be a catch as cats can catch as cats style. Fight. Well, you know what I'm trying to say, people. This is going to be one of those just two freaking brawls. That's all it's going to be is a freaking brawl. And that's what it turned out to be. Legit. These two guys can tell a story. Dickinson was doing some mat wrestling, which he is more than capable of. He is freaking talented as hell. Trying to take out Hammerstone's knee. He basically chopped down Alexander Hammerstone like you would a tree. Take his knee out. You start working on his leg. If a giant can't stand, he can't defend himself. Um, that's what Dixon, Dixon went after. Um, just told a story about how to do that. It was a great match. Hammerstone didn't come back into victory. 15 minute match. Three and a quarter star. Great show for uh, Global Syndicate Wrestling. Um, when I, before I even watched the show, I'm like, you know, I'm going to review this show. I want to do more of these indie shows here on Robert Sports Show and get this talent out there. You know, Allison Kay, she's, I would say, in the independent wrestling scene, she's the main main name. Richard Holiday is a main name. Holiday, Allison Aries, Davey Richards, Deanna Peraza, Jacob Fatu, Trisha Dora, Matt Cross, Kimberly, Hammerstone Dickinson. These are kind of your mainstay independent wrestlers that you'll see in the GSW, you'll see in the Game Changer, you'll see in the Ring of Honor, you'll see, maybe see them in New Japan Strong. You may see them, you know, this, this, that, this, that, and the other indie company. Um, but yeah, it's a good show overall, three-star rating. Um, if you want to check this stuff out on Fight TV, please feel free to. I will do my best to review the Global Festival April 20th and 21st as well. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports town content.